Hello friends, so today I am going to cover a new topic which is all about the operating system of the Ubuntu core. The OS which is made especially for the embedded system and which is very light in weight and which takes very less memory. So let's see how we can install this OS on an embedded system which is Raspberry Pi. So before going that let's understand what exactly this OS is for. So the canonical and Ubuntu they have uh, released this particular OS and they are calling this as an OS for the IoT. When it is IoT means it can be able to connect and utilize in any of the IoT field like automotive, industrial, smart home, smart cities, robotics, IoT gateway. And the main feature is this OS is containerized and we can utilize snap command to install any of the application which are verified by the canonical itself and they are claiming it to be a more secured so which means it is iot and it is secured that is one other thing so let's see how we can install it on raspberry pi so in order to do that we need to use images and go to the ubuntu core 2264 bit click on the storage and then click on the next then it will take some time to write it on the sd card and once it will get written it will be getting verified and then it will we can utilize the sd card into our raspberry pi in order to start the installation process of the ubuntu core so once it is finalized we can take out the sd card and then we can put it so we will get the first screen and then it will go into the installation of the ubuntu core which will say that installing ubuntu core so once it will uh, reboot uh, some of the time during this process so it is running a bit fast and we will come to the enter configuration so we need to enter and then we can go into the ubuntu core and click on again then we need to do a network configuration so we can either do the ethernet one or we can utilize uh, wi-fi so i'm going to use wi-fi because it is more convenient and i can configure it very easily so uh, we need to press the tab key and we can go on to the next and then click on the wlan and go to the edit wi-fi so once we go there we will see uh, there are options so we can choose the option like choose a visible network so when we will click on that we will see all the visible wi-fi network and we can select we can put the password once the password we put then we can save it it will go in the dlcp server mode uh, to find the ip once the ip is there we are good to go so uh, once the ip we get then we can go to the next screen where we will be getting to fill the email address so this particular email address is the same which through which we have to create the account into the ubuntu and uh, we can be able to only then connect uh, to the device so until unless this email id is not there uh, we will not be able to connect so if you see right now we are getting some uh, error so creating user failed so why this is coming so let's go to the main uh, part which is very important and here i have logged in into the, my account on the ubuntu with the same email address and then the main thing which we need to do here is the addition of the ssh key now why it is needed because as it was told that this particular os is secured so that is why we need to create the ssh key and then we can need to put that into the import ssh key and then it will create for that particular device only to connect so to create ssh key uh, we need to go to the terminal or the command prompt and we need to put the command ssh key change hyphen t rs and then it will be asking you some of the details so for the power phase we can put empty and then it will create two files id rsa and id rsa public so the public uh, one we need to use and so it is same in any of the os or any of the device either you are on the mac mac or you are on the windows so we can do the same command so uh, if you see it is doing the same and we can create the ssh key so now uh, how we can utilize to put an import into the uh, account so we need to open the id rsa which is the public one and i'm just opening it into the notepad plus plus so we need to take the here the key basically from here and then we can put it so it should be coming with ssh hyphen rsa and then the key 
details so that whole things we need to copy and then we need to put it into the the account where we have to put it into the ssh key part so once we put that it and say to import then it will get imported and it will get registered into the ubuntu account okay so it will show that okay this particular key has been registered and now uh, when we go back to the terminal and check again and click on the enter then we can see that our device will get registered and this device is now registered to the email address and remote access has been enabled by on it so now to connect and get it authenticated we need to put the sss command and with the host name and the ip address so it would have been also shown on the previous screen uh, what uh, we need to use the command so ssh the host name and then add the uh, the ip address of the device when we put then again it will ask you for uh, entering the fingerprint and uh, you need to first give yes because we want to continue to connect after that uh, the system will go to the shutdown mode and then it will restart again and after which we will be allowed to again connect back so once it will get uh, rebooted then again we we can put the same command and sometimes it takes time so uh, we need to reboot and we keep waiting for it to get rebooted and then once it will come online then only it will allow us to connect so once it has been rebooted fully uh, and then we can see uh, with the same command and 168.1.6 and then it allows us to connect on the terminal and then we can be in the ubuntu code and we can do the terminal command and we can click and put the snap help so a snap is the uh, command uh, which we need to use in the ubuntu code for all the purposes for installation services everything so in order to uh, check uh, the services which are running so we can put the command called uh, snap list so it will list down all the uh, processing which is happening right now into the server so if you can see that these are the uh, versions which we have from the canonical and snapd is the version which is getting utilized now we can use a snap search uh, to find any of the uh, container so snap search node red or the application so you can see that all the application which are there into the uh, repository are showing here for the node red and we can utilize snap install node red to install it on the raspberry pi so uh, it will it is quite fast and it uh, get installed very pretty easily and this all uh, the snaps which are there or the application which are there is already authenticated or or it has been tested by uh, the canonical teams and then they are only putting it so we don't have to even worry about any of the things and it will mostly work so if you can see the snap installed and it, it got installed and then uh, we can utilize a command called uh, snap uh, services to check what is the state of this particular service and we can see that it is enabled and it is active so now uh, once it is active then we can go to the web browser and we can connect and see uh, the node red web uh, portal so one and two one six zero one dot six and it will be running on the default port one eight eight zero and when we put that url then we will be in the node red main screen the flow so in this way we can utilize uh, snap command to install uh, the node red or any of the application so let's uh, see a different one uh, so sometime we can find a little uh, different way also to install so i'm taking about the grafana so if you can see when i put snap install grafana so it also provide you what uh, command you need to use to install uh, the application so you can see that when i'm putting snap install grafana it is saying no we, i don't have and uh, we can utilize snap install beta grafana or edge grafana 
so that is what has been approved into the Canonical repository and then when you put the snap install edge grafana which is uh, the option given then it will start installing it and then we can be good to go and once it is installed we can be able to uh, fetch through the url so once it is downloaded the snap and it is getting mounted and security profiles has been created then yeah we can check uh, the services and we can see that grafana and loaded both are running and now i can go back to the web and then we can i can put it the url and then we can see that we are into the grafana also so in this way uh, we can install the ubuntu core and we can utilize the snap to install the application thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one